What is going on YouTube? Today is mower maintenance day at the goose. This reel here would raise but not lower. Everything else would raise and lower just fine. It's this one was giving us trouble. This line right here was broken right at this fitting here. Uh, there was a leak back there. Another line that went straight to the control box to this reel. That was replaced. This was replaced. Oh, just needs a key switch they told us. Yeah. <laughs> So ran these two lines here to this ram, and this one would now be the one that raised and not lowered, so that rules out uh, this hydraulic ram here. Uh, trace the problem back to the control box, Fin right here and there. Finally pulled that. Yeah, hydraulic fluid does not clean up easy. Interestingly enough, you can see through these if you clean the dirt off. Well, Warning light on there, that's neat. Anyway, um, wound up being that the, you look in here, that's that's fine, I'll pull this out. A hydraulic valve. Looks like a miniature piston. <laughs> but uh, they go in there like that. That looked fine, that looked fine. This one did not look fine. Two pieces of the control rod here had popped off, so I'm trying to get this out, get a new one, put it in, uh, oh, I check valves too. I swapped this one with this one, and the problem main the problem uh, continued here. So, yeah, if you're having a similar problem, I couldn't find anything at all anywhere on Google. But you know, 90% of the knowledge that I get for mechanical stuff comes from the internet. 90% of the stuff knowledge that I get for fairway units. Not so much. That comes from books and trial and error. So throwing it out there for anyone, if you have a similar issue and it's got your bum puzzled, uh, pull the control box, find yourself uh, a new valve, assuming that that's it. It might be something else, I don't know. But assuming that's it, these were uh, crossed under like a clip holding the valve in place. Anyway, if that's what it is, then hopefully I saved you some time and aggravation. So yeah, you know, I, I I mentioned just go ahead and get the broken valve out. Not that easy. It's gonna fight you. Uh, these access ports on the back, mine was very stuck. Uh, broke the hex wrench, so I turned it into a flathead. And Phillips said, whatever, flathead worked fine. Uh, doesn't go through to where you want it to. In my case, the two pieces of where they go. This the two pieces of the rod that snapped off gouged the edges of the cylinder wall, I guess, for lack of a better term. Uh, so that's going to be difficult as all heck to get out. Um, just remember, folks, you're working with something that's broken. Yeah, it's expensive to replace it, but it's broken. You know, if you can get it working again, great. If not, you're going to have to replace it anyway. So don't be afraid of it. Uh, I'm going to try taking a tiny little flathead and scratching the the metal that sticks up down to get that out. You know, uh, get a different piston. If that doesn't work, then get a new block. I mean, they're what, 75 bucks on eBay? You know, don't worry about it. So best of luck to you with the struggle. And just remember, if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. Anyway, that's all for today. Like if like, sub for more. Thanks for watching Redrick Forge. Glad to have you with us and see you next time. Diesel!